All right, what's up everybody? I'm gonna show you a quick tour here of my new uh, CPR business. So look at all this. So I got my dummies here. I got this stuff right here, my AED trainer, uh, my little TV to show the teaching classes. This is gonna be my uh, where I put my whiteboard and all of that cool stuff. And then in the back here is like my little area where I'm gonna have coffee. This is gonna be my desk. Again, I haven't quite completed all of that just yet. But anyway, so let's sit down and let's talk about where I've been, what I'm up to, and, uh, and what's upcoming on my YouTube channel here. Let's get started. All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna give you guys some nursing tips, but before I give you nursing tips, I wanna talk about uh, why I haven't been posting on YouTube and why I'm going to continue to post on YouTube. But in the past month, I've been really, really busy, as you can see here, getting all of my, uh, my CPR business going, my ACLS business, all these things that I've been really wanting to get going and get moving. And uh, so the past month, month and a half, I've been extremely busy uh, getting prepared for all this stuff. I had to get business licenses, as you can see up here, all these business licenses and all that, all that stuff is just bureaucratic process nonsense that just drives me absolutely crazy but it's one of the things that has to be done and and this is it this is the nomad nurse health education and consulting business the consulting side is i'm going to be doing some uh some legal nurse consulting for certain lawyers that need that i'm going to get into that realm here eventually so it's not just a CPR business. It's kind of uh, it's kind of uh, covering some consulting as well, just health education in general. So that is where I've been for the past uh, month, month and a half, getting all that stuff, getting that stuff off of the ground. Now, one of the cool things about this is that it really does take some hustle. You know, you got to go out there and get the business. You got to get out there and hustle. So uh, I kind of like that aspect of it. That's just kind of what I like to do. If that if it was just up to me selling all day and just you know going out there and getting the business. That's what I'm great at. What I suck at is the bureaucracy, the getting the business licenses, getting all of that shit in order. Um, all of that stuff just sucks so bad for me. But, but anyway, so we still want to keep it on topic here. I want to keep talking about nursing school stuff, how to succeed in nursing school, how to, uh, you know, that, that's what my bread and butter here on YouTube is, is giving nursing advice for you guys. So uh, let's get into today's topic. All right, so the first thing that we need to know about nursing school and about nursing school in general is that nursing school sucks. I said this the other day on, on, on Instagram about how bad nursing school really, really sucks, how bad, you know, uh, how difficult nursing school is, but this is where you gotta dig down deep. You know, as you progress through each semester, the first semester of nursing school is not gonna be as, as, as hard as the last semester of nursing school. It's not set up to be. So a lot of students, they come into the first semester of nursing school and it's a little challenging, but it's, a, it's, a, it's not that challenging of where most people don't succeed through that first semester. And what happens with that is you get kind of comfortable in nursing school. You get comfortable with that first and second semester classes that can be very simple, but at the same time, we gotta remember we got to remember that that these classes get harder and harder. And this semester I taught critical care. And I noticed that a lot of the students, I got so much pushback, so much pushback from students in critical care because they thought that they could study the same exact way that they studied through first semester, second semester, and third semester. But here's the thing. When you get to critical care class, it's a lot harder. Critical care class is, is very difficult and it's supposed to be difficult. If you're in your final semester in your critical care, the little subtleties matter. The deeper aspects of the disease processes matter. Things like vent settings, things like that, really go into, into, a, uh, into a very complex area. And it's so important that you need to really dig deep, push deep, and, and try to figure out what it is what it is that these questions are asking. Because if you don't figure that out, if you don't pick up on that subtlety, you're not gonna get through critical care. And I had a lot of pushback with the senior students. And, and, the, and one of the reasons about that was also that they were in an accelerated program, right? They were in a really fast program, so they were going through it really fast. Uh, unlike a, a, a program like a BSN program where it's not accelerated, you can kind of ease your way into this. You have a lot more time. It's still difficult, but you do have a, you know an extra year to kind of prepare for these types of questions, especially in critical care. The problem with these accelerated programs is they put you through it really, really fast, and you're not really 
prepared for the type of questions that are going to come at you in that final semester. In your critical care class, you really have to put every single bit of effort into it. I know you're working. I know you have kids, but here's the problem with that. If you're doing all of that, how are you going to spend your time studying? Because that's what critical care classes actually require you to have. They, they're going to be requiring you to really, really dig deep. So if you're in a critical care class and you're you know, you're going into that and you're in some type of accelerated program, I want you guys to listen to me about these tips right here. Number one, you have to dedicate your time to this. There, There is no shortcuts in the critical care in the final, uh, especially the final semester of an ADN program or an accelerated program because you just don't have time. If you're working somewhere, you need to probably try to quit your job. I know that's, you're like, well, I can't quit my job. Well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you if you cannot put the hours in that are needed to pass this stuff because it really literally takes all of your time. My final semester of nursing school, I literally didn't do anything but study, study, study. I studied so hard that there was not enough time. I remember thinking, there's not enough time in the day to allow me to study. I wish there were 34 hours in a day for me to study and prepare for these exams, but there wasn't. You know, so if you're not thinking on that level where you're you're studying every bit of time you have, there's no time for working out. There's no time for going downtown. There's no time for playing. So, you know, if you don't like that, if you don't like that message, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you about, you know, what your motivation is. The only thing I can tell you is you need to work harder and really, really dig deep into the content. Get into the content, understand the content at a deep level. And the only way that you're going to do that is to put the hours in. All right, guys. Anyways, that is my tips for getting through critical care class. I know it sucks, but you're in it now. If you're going to go into it, I want you guys to be prepared. I never tell you guys lies. I never tell you guys anything, any BS. When you get into that final semester of nursing school, it's going to suck because you don't have enough time to study, but you need to make time and find time. All right, guys. Peace out.